Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to don't know. Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. Dumb, dumb. Naughty by Nature tour, you know, and um, you did the video with them. I have it up here, actually, because you had a note on it that I wanted to actually ask you about. Where is it? Right here. Um, but yeah, you said it was the second nationwide tour you ever did, and you learned, like, so much from Vinny and Tretch. And I remember seeing you guys at that funky club in uh, Toronto. I can't remember what it was called, but it had, like... Circa. Half... Pardon it? Circa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember everything, bro. I don't forget nothing. Yeah, yeah, that funky club with, like, half-human parts and, like, different... Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was Canadian Music Week. Oh, yeah, it was, too, wasn't it? That's crazy, yeah. Yeah. What was, like, um? because that was, was that your first or your, your second nationwide tour? That was my second tour, like, my second nationwide tour. And just those guys were, like, I was a, I, I was a puppy compared to, like, I'm still a puppy compared to those guys, but, like, I was a baby when I was on that tour. So, um, Tretch is, like, Technically speaking, Tretch is one of the best rappers there's ever been. Yeah. And technically speaking, he might not be your, your cup of tea or whatever, but technically speaking, he's brilliant. And, oh, yeah. and, and then on technology and, like, advertising and business-wise, Vinny's super brilliant. Yeah. He, he was, like, he was on the technology with phones and the internet and all that shit harder than anybody i ever seen, like, earlier and those guys were like i came off stage one night and tretch grabbed me he's like bro you go up there and cup the mic again you might as well not perform <laughs> because ain't nobody can hear you like you're wasting everybody's time don't do that hold the mic like this look it looks awkward it don't feel right you don't think you're as cool as you do when you cup it but if you keep cupping the mic you might as well stop performing on this tour wow and i was like bro i was so young i was like th i thought he disrespected me like i remember <laughs> i remember being like asking my guys like yo what the fuck just happened like <laughs> this guy really just speak to me like that like you know but then i was like holy shit like he gives he gives a fuck about me yeah you know what i mean so it, it it was like a flip side i learned a lot from people like that i used to sit down and watch those guys perform like i'd come off stage and go and sit down in the back and watch those guys they put on a great I, performance too yeah naughty by nature naughty by nature bust the rhymes um, a couple people like that. They're the best I've ever seen on yeah. stage. Have you ever booked Busta? Yeah, I did a full tour with him across Canada. Oh, shit, eh? Yeah, we did like 20 shows together. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I didn't book that tour, but I was on it. Really, eh? Do you got any super funny Busta Rhymes memories? Because that dude's a fucking... Yeah, he, he, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> he's crazy. We were, um, we were, we got back to our hotel room in Regina after the show. And my real name's not Peter Jackson, right? Yeah. So some some people don't know that. But um, we're at the hotel. It's after the show. I don't know what time. Call it like 2.30 in the morning or whatever. And I'm like, hey, I'm so-and-so. I'm, I'm trying to get into my room. I can't get into my room. My room number is whatever. They're like, oh, that's not your name. I'm like, yeah, but my, my artist's name is this. But this is my real name. And they're like, well, that doesn't work. Like, do you have identification with Peter Jackson on it? I'm like, no, how would I have that? Yo, bus comes in just screaming. Let him into his fucking room. The fuck are you doing? Like going crazy. It's two thirty in the morning. We just <laughs> done. So he's going crazy, and I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, that's what's up, bro. Like he literally, he's like, I got fucking fifteen rooms in this hotel. Give him his room keys. It was, it was, it was funny, man. Like I was like, I don't even know if we had a full conversation at this point. We're like two, three days into the tour. He's not my guy. Like. I'm not I'm not standing with him. So when he started doing that shit, I'm like, oh, that's what's up, man. Thanks, bro. Like, he got me my keys in my room and everything. The next day, I was like, okay, so, you know, what do we do from here? <laughs> I thought we were going to beat the shit out of the guy for not giving me my room keys. Like, so, yeah, bus is cool, though. And at the end of that tour, he pulled me aside and was like, yo, keep doing what you're doing. It was dope to have you on tour, you know said a bunch of good shit to me and and that's the thing too with all that footage that i've been putting out like those are just like minute clips but i basically have like 55 episodes with anywhere from an hour with these people to 30 hours worth of footage on tour 
Yeah, I have so much footage and, and so much stuff. So it's just about putting it out properly. And it's just like, you know, at first when this when this COVID stuff dropped, for me, it just didn't feel right to, to be thinking about dropping music. Yeah. So I was just kind of trying to put some shit out there to, like, have something to post. Yeah. So I think that's why I started doing that. But it kind of opened up a couple doors. I talked to some people at some different networks about it. And, you know, I'm sitting on, like, three or four terabytes worth of footage. Yeah, it's crazy. From all, all that period, shit, right? From like the start all the way up to like, yeah, like almost, almost right from the start. Almost wow. right from the start. Yeah. Oh man, you can. That's amazing content right there. The hardest part is just sifting through it and fit, fit piecing it together. You know what I mean? Yeah, that won't be my job. <laughs> you'll just, you'll just watch it after and pull the trigger. Like, yeah, that can yeah. slide. Cut that. I out. I, I, I'll tell them. I, I got a good memory with stuff like this, so yeah. I'll just tell people what I like. You can go find it. I'm actually I'm surprised how good your memory is. You know what I mean? Like even just like bringing up like I'm like, what club is that in Toronto? You're like, ah, Circa. You know what I mean? Yeah. That place my girl, cool. my girl said that to me today. She's like, you don't know, you can't find your wallet for shit, but you could tell me whatever's in the fridge. You could tell me <laughs> this is behind this, behind this, behind that in the right corner, but you can't find your wallet. So <laughs> she literally just said that to me like a couple hours ago. <laughs> 